Hey folks, JR, back for another episode of Echoes of Shannon Street Case File. This is going to be episode 18, Push the Button. Episode uh, today is going to be back to negotiations. We're going to see what tricks the negotiators are going to try to use to get Lindbergh to start communicating, start negotiating. We're going to look at a clip from Shannon Street Echoes Under a Blood Red Moon, and then we will get into the negotiations. Good his post-traumatic, his previous experience and interaction with police officers, could it have been directly correlated that day involving the police? I would say absolutely. Now you take that into account in a fact that the reality of it is that Memphis itself is a very segregated city. And the reality of that is that most Memphians seem to like it that way. If he has a previous interaction with police that's only been negative, and then you add in that at one point I was beaten by officers, his instinct is going to be fight or flight to where when he sees an officer, he's going to do one of two things. He is either as a man going to succumb to that and cower down, or he's going to fight. And if you add in liquid or inhalable courage, into that, you have just created a situation where a powder keg. All right, folks, I thought I would break this drawing back out. Just a little reminder of who's inside the house holding Officer Hester. We do know for sure that Lindbergh Sanders has been shot in the left arm, and we know Andrew Juju Houston's been shot in the arm possibly definitely in the back and that's the situation uh, when we get into the negotiations all right folks this first document here is a negotiators time log continuance page four time I'm going to go date 112-83, time 0, 100 hours. Cruz tells Lindbergh his relatives and friends want to talk to him. No response. 0, 110, Cruz asks Lindbergh if he still wants to talk to Morgan. 0, 122, Lindbergh still not responding. 0, 130, no response. 0, 140, no response. 0147 Tax Squad says they can hear crews transmissions coming from the radio in the house. 0203 Tax Unit turns off gas to house. 0218 Lindbergh still refusing to talk. 0219 Screams heard coming from the house. Sounded as if someone was being hurt. No response to Cruz's questions of their origin. 0228, Cruz tells Lindbergh a friend named Albert wanted to talk to him. No response. 0233, TAC unit reports banging sounds coming from inside the house. 0244, Thomas Macklin, Lindbergh's brother, tries to talk to him on the radio. Ask him to hang phone up. 0248, Poff and Roth makes first phone contact with House. Mel Black cussed, then hung up. Page one, tape number seven, side number one. Start, zero, one, 14 hours. Foxtrot one, north. Finish, zero, one, 43 hours. Date, one, 12, 83. Parker, I have a message from your wife, Dorothy, to your son, Larnell. Can you let him have the radio? Listen to me now, I need to talk to you. If you can hear me, pick up your radio and talk to me. I have a message for you from your wife, Dorothy. 
You know, I have been straight with you, Lynn. Now pick up the radio and talk to me. Long pause. Lynn, can you hear me? Will you please pick up the radio? I have some information for you. We were able to get in touch with Mr. Morgan, Lynn. He is the one you wanted to talk to. I told you I'd work with you any way I can. Well, we got in touch with him. What did you want to tell him? If you can hear me, Lynn, pick up the radio and talk to me. Or let someone else talk on the radio. Car 163, switch from car to car. Lynn, listen, you. I have been working with you on this thing all night. And I... Tape goes off. Long pause. Just real quickly, folks, that information in parentheses about car 163, that's going to be information coming on the alternate channel that uh, is picked up by the, the tape because there be, all the negotiations are being recorded. So that's what that is. It's, that is not someone getting on the main channel here talking. Lynn, if you can hear me now, pick the radio up and talk to me. My battery has been running down and I hadn't been able to talk the last couple of minutes. Is your battery holding out all right? Lynn, listen, we have been able to get in touch with Mr. Morgan. I need to talk to you, Lynn, see what you want to do. Lynn, you know I've done everything you have asked me to do. I have gotten in touch with Mr. Morgan. I need to talk to you. Pick up the radio and let me talk to you. If you can hear me in the house and you have the police radio, push the button in on the side and talk to me. I can't hear you if you are talking on the radio. I can't hear you at all. Apparently your batteries have run down. How about hanging the phone up or fixing the phone so I could call you on the telephone? Radio is not transmitting. Lynn, how about hanging the phone up so I can call you? What did you say, Lynn? Lynn, if you can hear me in the house, pick up the radio and answer me. I have some information about Mr. Morgan. That was you on the radio, Lynn. Say it again. What did you say a minute ago? I couldn't understand you. You spoke so fast. What did you say? Lynn, talk to me now. If you can hear me now, pick up the radio and push the button in and talk to me. There are some people here that want to talk to you. Your wife, Dorothy, wants to talk to you. Let me know if everyone is okay in there, including you. You said your arm was hurt. You're in charge in there. How about being a leader and letting me know something? Long pause. If you can hear me, pick up the radio and talk to me. I have some information for you. I've been able to get in touch with Mr. Morgan. I need to talk to you about it. Pick up the radio and talk to me. Lynn, I don't know if you've been trying to talk to me on the radio, but I haven't been able to hear you. Apparently your batteries have run down. If you have been, I haven't heard a word you said for over an hour. I need to call you on the telephone. Let me call you on the telephone. What difference does that make? Won't hurt a thing for you to talk to me on the telephone. You have been talking to me on the radio. Plug the phone in or hang it up. I'm going to call you on the telephone. Long Paul. Page one, tape number seven, side number two. Date 112.83, start 0143 hours. And by the way, that is 143 in the morning. Finish to 12 hours. Foxtrot 1 North. Parker, is that you, Lynn? If you can hear me, pick up the radio and talk to me now. You are in charge in there. You have got to take care of your group. You are their leader. Talk to me, Lynn. I have some information for you. Long pause. Talk to me, Lynn, if you can hear me. Pick up the radio and talk to me. There are some people here that want to talk to you. They are willing to talk to you over the radio, but I need to know if I am getting through to you. Can you hear me? I am trying to work with you on this thing, Lynn. I need a little bit of help from you. That's all. All you got to do is pick up the radio and let me know if you can hear me. How about it, Lynn? It is up to you. That is your group in there, Lynn. 
you are their leader. You need to be their leader. Pick up the radio. Ask them information for you. Lynn, listen to me for a minute. If you can hear me, pick up the radio. There are some people here that want to talk to you. Some people who care about you. Some people who think they can help you with this situation. I've got to know, <clears throat> no, Lynn, if you can hear me. I don't even know if the radio in the house is working. How about doing that for me, Lynn? How about it for you? How about doing it for the group in there? How about picking up the radio and talking to me? Lynn, pick up the radio and talk to me. There's someone here who wants to talk to you. Someone very important to you, Lynn. How about it now? Be a leader and talk to me. Did you try to say something to me, Lynn? Were you trying to talk to me on the radio, Lynn? If you were, I had my mic button pushed in and I cut you out. Come on, Lynn. That is your people. In there now, you're in charge. You can help them. You can help yourself and I can work with you. Just let me know if I am getting through to you. Pick up the radio and let me talk to you. Lynn, there are some people here that mean an awful lot in your life and they want to talk to you. But we can't put them on the radio unless we know you can hear us in there. Would you at least pick up the radio and push the button in and let me know you can hear us? How about letting somebody else watch the radio then, Lynn? I'll point a radio man for you. Let him talk to me on the radio. Earl was talking to me earlier. How about putting Earl back on there, Lynn? Put Larnell on the radio. Okay, Lynn, it is up to you now. I have done everything you have asked me to do. I have been able to get in touch with Mr. Morgan, and I have some people here that want to talk to you. So it's up to you now, Lynn. How about picking up the radio and talking to me? You know we are here to help you. Long pause. Lynn, can you hear me? I want you to pick up the radio now and talk to me. I have some important information for you. Listen to me now. I have some information for you. I need to talk to you. Pick up the radio and talk to me. We are here to work with you, Lynn. We can work this thing out. We don't want to get anyone hurt. Just want to talk to you about this situation. We want to find out exactly what you want. There are some people here that want to talk to you, people who have been close to you. Your brother-in-law, for instance, he would like to talk to you. Will you talk to him, Lynn? Your brother-in-law would like to talk to you, Lynn. How about picking up the radio and letting me know whether or not you can hear me? Listen to me for a minute, Lynn. You are the man in charge of that group in there. You are their leader. Why don't you act like a leader? There are some people here who want to talk to you who can probably help you, Lynn. You can help them. Your brother-in-law wants to talk to you, but we don't know if you can hear him. How about picking up the radio and letting me know whether or not you can hear me talking. Page two. Tape number seven, side number two. Date one twelve eighty three. Start zero one forty three hours. Finish zero two twelve hours. That's two twelve in the morning. Foxtrot one north. Parker. Then is there anything I can do for you? How's the arm doing? What did you say? Does anyone in there need anything, Lynn? We have been trying to work with you all night, Lynn. You know I can help you. I got in touch with Mr. Morgan, just like you asked me to. I've done everything you asked me to do. How about picking up the radio and talking to me, Lynn? Lynn, you know I have kept my, up my end of the bargain for you, and now it's up to you. I need to talk to you on the radio can't talk to you unless you respond. I was talking to you earlier. How about picking up the radio and talking to me? Now, I have some important information for you. Then there's someone down the way here who wants to talk to you. I can't put him on the radio until I can find out if you can hear him. Would you please pick up the radio and talk to me? Page one, tape number eight. Side number one, start 212 hours, finish 241 hours. Date 112 of 83, Foxtrot 1 North.
Parker. Lynn, if you can hear me now, pick up the radio and talk to me. You know I've done everything you have asked me to do. I am still working with you. Still trying to help you. How about working with me a little bit? How about picking up the radio? Lynn, if you can hear me, pick your radio up now. I need to talk to you. There is an important person who wants to talk to you. Says he knows you real well. Said he has known you for a long time. Not only that, but I have been able to get in touch with Mr. Morgan. That is who you wanted to talk to originally. How about picking up the radio and talking to me? Come on now, Lynn, talk to me. Lynn, can you hear me? You're going to hurt somebody, Lynn. You know that is not going to make any sense. Listen to me, Lynn. You know you and I can work this thing out. You don't need to hurt anyone. Listen to me, Lynn. I need to talk to you. Pick up the radio and talk to me. Lynn, you know it is not a Christian mark to hurt someone like that. You call yourself a Christian. You sit around and read the Bible, don't you? Where it says in the Bible you're supposed to hurt someone. You're not supposed to do that. No one has the right to do that, Lynn. You call yourself a Christian group. You know better than to hurt someone like that. Come on now, pick up the radio and talk to me. Listen to me, Lynn. You told me a little while ago that you were the only one hurt. Talk to me now. Tell me who is who is hurt, Lynn. Listen to me, Lynn. Talk to me now. Tell me who is hurt in there. You are the leader of the group. Can't you pick up the radio and tell me who is hurt? Lynn, pick up the radio and talk to me. How about it, Lynn? Are you going to talk to me? What is the matter? Can't you pick up the radio and talk to me? You were talking to me earlier. How about you picking up the radio and talking to me now? Come on, Lynn. You're supposed to be the leader of that group in there. Why don't you act like a leader? Pick up the radio and talk to me. I know you can hear me. Come on, Lynn, talk to me now. I know you can hear that radio in there. Pick up your radio and talk to me. All you got to do is pick it up, squeeze it, Lynn. Aren't you going to be a leader of that group? Or did you let someone else take over? Come on, Lynn, it is up to you. Lynn, are you going to talk to me or not? I need to talk to you now. Pick up the radio and talk to me. I need to talk to you, Lynn. Pick up the radio and talk to me. You're supposed to be the leader of the group. You're not supposed to be hurting anybody in there, Lynn. If you're living up to your principles that you read in that book, you sit around and read, how about talking to me? Let me know if everyone is okay in there, Lynn. How about telling me whether or not everyone is okay? Pick up the radio, Lynn, and talk to me. If you can hear me, pick it up and say something to me. You aren't scared to talk to me anymore, are you, Lynn? Listen to me for a minute. I have some information for you. Albert wants to talk to you. He wants to talk to you, Lynn. Will you talk to Albert? Earl, if you can hear me in there, will you talk to Albert? If you can hear me, will you pick up the radio and talk to me? He wants to talk to you. Hey, Earl, do you want to talk to Albert or not? Earl. Earl, Albert is here. How about talking to him? Someone here who wants to talk to you. How about you picking up the radio and letting me know whether or not you can hear me? Okay, Lynn, it is up to you now. You are the leader of the group. How about picking up the radio and talking to me? Can you hear me? Lynn, pick up the radio and talk to me. We were talking earlier, Lynn. Tell me earlier that you want to talk to Mr. Morgan. I've been able to get in touch with Mr. Morgan. I can get him on the radio if you will talk to me. I don't know whether or not you can hear me. How about picking up the radio and giving me a yes or a no? Pick up the radio and talk to me, Lynn. We are trying to work this thing out. Will you, Lynn? But we can't work it out unless we talk to you, Lynn. How about it? Page two, tape number eight, side number one. Date 112.83. Start 212 hours, finish 241 hours. Foxtrot 1 North. Parker. How about it, Lynn? It's up to you now. Need you to talk to me. 
have some important information for you. I have an important person here who would like to talk to you. I've done everything you have asked me to do. Now it is up to you. Come on, Lynn. Pick the radio up and talk to me. Lynn, talk to me now. I need to talk to you now. Pick up the radio and talk to me. I've done what you asked me to do. Now how about you doing a little something? How about picking up that radio and talking to me? There's someone here who wants to talk to you. But I don't know if you can hear the radio. How about hollering in the radio and let me know? Pick up the radio, Lynn, and talk to me. There's someone here who's very special and wants to talk to you. A person you've known for a long time wants to talk to you on the radio, but we don't even know whether or not you can hear the radio. Can you tell me whether or not you can hear the radio? Long pause. Well, folks, it don't look good, does it, for negotiation? Kind of hard to negotiate when the other side ain't talking. But folks, that's going to do it for this episode here. Frustrated with the lack of progress on negotiations, but don't worry. We will come back to negotiations, see if we can't get it right. We're going to keep digging through this case file. Next episode, we'll go back to radio communications. We'll see what the TAC unit and Uniform Patrol is plotting over the radio. Folks, I appreciate y'all. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you down the road.